Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. And today we're going to take a look at Satanic Panic. No, it's not a board game from Milton Bradley that was rejected. No, <laughs> Satanic Panic is brought to us by writer, producer, director Mark Sells. And it tells us the story, uh, it's based off of a number of events that happened in the 80s where there were satanic cults doing things like kidnapping kids and sacrificing animals in the woods, all in the name of Satan type of deal. And it, it was a, a series of events that caused the, the term to come out, satanic panic, because a lot of people thought when someone went missing, it immediately was because of a satanic cult, because of all these uh, events happening, random events around the country. And we get this opening where we get an introduction to that, as well as someone making an argument about Satanism and how, you know, the cults that are portrayed in films and in books, uh, those aren't true Satanists, and true Satanists don't do that stuff, though uh, they do follow some non-traditional words from a non-traditional deity, if you will. <laughs> so... Uh, we get that argument right in the beginning, and then we start into the film, which is the story of six kids who go out into the woods where there was a satanic cult many moons ago who sacrificed a boy, uh, but his twin sister escaped, okay? And so now they're in that same woods, and we've got the cult now uh, terrorizing this group of six friends. What I liked about Satanic Panic was its effort and what it was going for. Uh, I enjoyed the story as well as some of the characters in here. They weren't all your classic cliche characters. They did try to add a little bit of originality to them, especially one of them in particular, the kind of main actress, uh, the main character, the girl. She definitely uh, played by a Sin Dulai, uh, Lay, excuse me, Sin Dulai. And uh, her character definitely had something going on with it that I didn't expect them to go for that angle. So that was definitely some original stuff there. What was also original was the guy that I ended up liking the most, which was the hillbilly guy collecting the animals that were used in satanic rituals that were left behind for food. I love the hillbilly guy. You know, he was great. Um, he was a fun character as well. We've got some notable uh, people in here that we've seen before in other independent films. You've got Z. D. Smith with a, with a small role in here, as well as Tom uh, Lodwick, who we saw in IDS Rising. He's in this film as well, so it was nice to see Tom on the screen again. Uh, the, about the only thing, you know, it's a decent effort for a low, no budget film. Uh, I did enjoy the death scenes they had in there. They set up this cult fairly well, uh, though you did kind of see it coming of who, you know, was in the cult and everything. I love the backwater town they kind of set up and the characters they put in there. Definitely some fun characters. Look for an Elvis sighting. It may just be in this film. Uh, and then you get to the end and they kind of do this surprise thing at the end. And I don't want to ruin it for you what they do, uh, but it was kind of an out of nowhere surprise. And while I got what they were going for, it took me a minute of going, wait, what's going on and where did this come from? And I guess out of that, I would have liked to see a little bit more reminding of the you know what happened and setting that up better uh it, it's a little bit out of the blue it, it, they introduce uh some things in the beginning but then you don't see anything happen there it all focuses on the six guys and then we revisit it near the end and um, you know, I would have liked to see you know, just a little bit, maybe one or two scenes as a reminder or set it up so the ending wasn't so out of the blue to you're just like, what? I mean, after a minute or two, you do piece it together, but, you know, maybe that, that's about the only thing that really took me kind of aback from it. Uh, the gore is okay in here in the effects. It is a low, lower budget film, so expectations are not too high there. But this, again, is a decent effort that I think many of you independent fan, uh, horror fans out there who like the low, no budget films should check this out because it was an uh, interesting film and concept and definitely was executed well enough to be entertaining. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuff.